Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sierra, the HBIC, and your go-to for all things child-free lifestyle, fashion finds, navigating life, mental health chats, and of course, occasional cameos from my dog star. Basically, if you are into living your best life without kids, feeling fabulous, keeping it real, and maybe catching some pup cuddles, you're in the right place. So grab some water, get comfy, and let's chat. Hey, -oh, really quickly. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So if you could please subscribe to my channel, I will love you forever and ever and ever. Thank you. Now, let's get on with it. Today I'm gonna go through uh, my workout that I did, why exercise is important to me, and some modifications to make what I did more accessible for varying abilities. One of the biggest reasons why I do love exercise though is that it helps me manage my mental health. My friend should probably ask me rather than have you eaten, have you exercised recently? Because when I go for long periods of time without exercising, you can tell. I get a little cranky. Since I'm currently not in regular therapy, this is one of the tools in my toolkit that I use to help me feel a little bit better, get some movement in, and you know, with my ADHD and everything constantly going on in my brain, it's an outlet to help me with that as well. But hope you enjoy, and let's get on with the show. So we have to do a workout outside. You got to have on this like whole matching set. Go on a walk, everybody. Because somebody needs their walk, huh, bud? Papa, are you good for a walk? Let's go. Somebody has to sniff everything, which is good. It's enrichment. And I bet he sees a squirrel that he thinks he can get. All right, we're going to run him the weight vest today because gym membership is currently paused. So I want to work on this run. All right, time to go hit a workout outside. Ah. I have a friend who turned me on to this protein powder and it's truly the best. I decided to get the variety pack recently because I wanted to try other flavors, but the chocolate brownie, I think is what it's called. That one, yeah, it's super good. But and this is a protein powder that I can drink with just water. I don't really think I'm in the mood for like, what was that? Buttery, buttery blend? Not in the mood, I don't care. Oh, 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 let's try mocha java chip. That's what that like. I'm someone who always like, pours in my protein powder with some water, shake, and then add more water. I'm not a gym bro. This is honestly just to supplement and hold me over while I shower and then I have time to like actually make food and eat but I really need to get in the shower and like get my day going. I kind of slept in today which is fine. I have to be up really early to get to the airport on Friday for my flight to Guatemala. The live cast have never had this flavor before. Okay. Oh, it's fine. My bread tastes really smells weird though. I'm gonna dishwasher. So 
I come from a family that has lots of different ailments from heart disease, diabetes, fatty liver, you name it, it's probably somewhere in my family. And not even that far for some things. I'm talking mom, dad. We know that exercise and movement a few times a week is important. One of the things I love about having a dog is that it gets me outside regularly to take him for a walk and he does enjoy his walks and the enrichment, all of the sniffing. I also really enjoy getting in movement beyond walking on a personal level. I like getting my heart rate up. I used to do CrossFit. Oh, if that's it. I don't anymore for a lot of reasons, but I really enjoy what CrossFit instilled in me and that's translating movement in exercise to everyday life. Sure, in CrossFit there's a lot of talk about intensity, but if you have the right coaches and you're in the right place, then you are going to learn so much in my opinion. For me, it was again translating the movements into everyday life. For example, I travel, I fly, I like to bring carry-on luggage, and that means I need to get my suitcase above my head and into the compartment. So what movement does that look like? Oh, a clean and then jerk, or a push press, or a strict press. All of that is translating movements that I can do in the gym or with other equipment into everyday life. I know a lot of people probably do not love the word burpees, but what is a burpee? It's getting off of the ground, playing with kids, rolling around, laying down with my dog. All right, great, like, that is a burpee when I need to get back up. It's the similar kind of movement. I like to build my workouts on my own and just think about the things that I want to be able to do with my body. So yeah, like, picking up my dog, carrying groceries from, let's say, Whole Foods back to my apartment. All right, so maybe it's walking around with some weights in my hands, like kettlebells and doing farmer's carries or suitcase carries to help build those muscles. I don't have a gym membership right now. I will be doing full body workouts, workouts at home, outdoor workouts, and I'm going to be sharing my workouts that I do on Wednesdays in videos on Thursday because I need time to edit. Today's workout was a 5K run with my weight vest on, and at every mile, I stopped and did squats, increasing from 30, 40, 50, and then I finished the rest of the 5K, so about the quarter mile afterwards. It was a really, really good workout. It's been a long time since I have run in my weight vest. I am not gonna lie. But you can see me right here doing the squats, catching me running outside, and I had a great time. This is also a workout that you can modify for whatever level you're at. Maybe you're just gonna go on a 5K walk, a nice stroll. That's an excellent workout and you can enjoy where you're at. Maybe it's a hike. Maybe you're doing a, a run walk. So it's a two minute run, one minute walk, or hey, maybe it's a one minute run and two minute walk for recovery. Maybe you aren't ready to do 30, 40, 50 squats. That's fine. Maybe you use a bench or a chair and you sit down and then stand up. I am all about modifying movements for the skill level and ability of which we're at. I do not want to promote people pushing themselves too hard. I don't want to promote someone perhaps getting rhabdo. And I want workouts that I share to be accessible. So I will continue to share modifications and such in comments or if somebody reaches out. My question for you is, do you have a favorite movement or exercise that you like to do? Maybe you go to berries, maybe you like Pilates, maybe it's all about yoga. 
let me know how you like to get movement in. And thanks for sticking around. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So every subscription that you do counts. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day. Catch you in a week when I share my next workout.